Now, I think the best part of this though, is that it solves one of the most crucial aspects of the DNS service in the internet today. A, keep your information secure and not public. And beyond that, to prevent different entities, third parties from censoring your content, taking your website down, revoking your privileges. What is up, Hash Nation? Today, I wanna to talk about a really cool service that I think will help drive mainstream adoption for cryptocurrency in the near future. So without further ado, let's hash it out. And really quickly, before we get started, if it's our first time meeting, my name is Forrest. I am a blockchain developer in the industry, and I started this channel to help you build your knowledge, boost your cryptocurrency gains, and to help you join the movement towards our distributed, decentralized future. If that sounds really good to you and you wanna join that movement, just smash the subscribe button and click that little bell notification button so we can hang out every single time I post new content. So let's dive into it. If I sit and imagine what it would be like to be an outsider looking in at the crypto space, if I were someone that didn't do this for my full-time job, what would I care about? What would stop me from taking part in cryptocurrency? What would stop me from even getting started in cryptocurrency and learning about it? Now, and I think at the very top of that list, among other things, would be ease of use. The ability for me, whether it's real or perceived, to jump in, understand what's going on, use the services, and it, for it to fit into my life rather than me fitting into cryptocurrency. For many people that are outsiders in cryptocurrency, all they have to see is one 40 character Ethereum address and they're basically like, peace out, I'm done. I'm not even gonna try, this looks too confusing to me. I don't know what all these apps are. I don't know what these addresses mean. None of it makes sense. And then we lose a potential person that could help drive this space forward and adopt cryptocurrency. That is what we all want, all of us who are interested and very passionate about this space. And furthermore, even people who are comfortable buying and selling and trading cryptocurrency on apps like Coinbase that make it very easy are a lot of times not extending into the world of dApps. And that's why there are far more people that own cryptocurrency, that have traded cryptocurrency, that aren't participating in these decentralized applications on smart contract oriented platforms like Ethereum, like EOS, like Tron, etc. The numbers of people that are buying cryptocurrency aren't equating to the number of people who are using dApps. And the reason for that is, is because it's a little bit more complicated to use dApps. These games aren't easy enough to get started with. They don't do enough yet. They're very complicated. They cost money. People don't understand how all these things work. And at the very least, it's hard sometimes to find a dApp and actually get started. However, all is not lost. This is a very solvable problem. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about a platform or a service that is solving this problem for decentralized applications and the blockchain ecosystem. And to do this, we had to take a little bit of inspiration from the past. A similar phenomenon really occurred when the internet came into the fray in the 80s and 90s. To navigate to a web page, you had to use the IP address, which is a really ugly chain of numbers and periods that eventually told the internet itself where to route your traffic, where to point your browser. And what this really meant is that no sane average person was going to attempt to memorize an IP address or even bother looking into it because they didn't care to deal with the extra complication that it took to use the internet. So what did these people that the pioneers of the internet do? They decided we need to make this easier for people to understand. We need to make this easier on the eyes and abstract the complexity of the internet and the IP system behind the scenes. Imagine yourself sitting down to jump on MySpace and having to remember the exact IP address for MySpace, type that in with all the periods, click enter and go to MySpace. Probably wouldn't be stoked that you had to memorize a chain of numbers instead of a word, but beyond that, you probably just wouldn't bother at all. And I'll show you the IP address right here. This is the actual MySpace IP. But instead, we were able to type myspace.com and it would tell our computers exactly where to go. And the system that did this, the system that replaced 
IP addresses as our common form of navigating to web pages is called the domain name service or DNS. Rather than completely re-engineering the internet to be more human readable in its own right, the engineers behind DNS created what is essentially an atlas or a map of the entire internet, which keeps a list of human readable names like myspace.com and maps that to the internet protocol or IP address that the website is hosted on. So when your computer wants to reach out to myspace.com, for example, or coinbase.com, for example, your computer reaches out to the DNS server local to it and tries to find the record that matches that human readable address. And if it finds it, the DNS server passes back the IP address and then that tells your browser where to look for the content you're looking for. So I can show you a little quick diagram here on the screen of how DNS works. But as you can see, it's just abstracted the complexity of IP addresses behind the scenes. So when you type in that human readable name, the computer and the servers, they do the rest. You don't have to worry about it and you get the website that you were looking for. And by that hand, this exact same problem can be solved in cryptocurrency using the concept of a DNS server or a DNS service for blockchain addresses. There are a handful of companies and initiatives that have been working on this very problem, and I'm sure some of you have heard of the ENS or the Ethereum name service, and I'm sure some of you have probably gotten a domain on the ENS. But there is one particular company, one particular service that I think is really ahead of the curve in terms of implementing this in a way that is really going to stick and really going to hold true. The process is very simple to pick up your own domain. You can pay with normal money with a credit card, you can pay with crypto, you can pay with all sorts of different methods, and it's really accessible for people to use. Enter Unstoppable Domains, a company that is building the DNS for the blockchain world. Unstoppable Domains has created human readable addresses for people to use to send cryptocurrency to a friend, to navigate to a decentralized application's UI to navigate or interact with a decentralized application itself. Basically abstracting the complexity of keeping track of all of your addresses and all of the de decentralized applications out there or hosting your DAP and putting that all into one single namespace that you can keep track of over time. Imagine a world where rather than scanning a QR code or copy and pasting an address and panicking all the while that your address got messed up while you were copying it or the QR code scanner scanned it completely incorrectly and now you're sending crypto to some stranger or to a dead address altogether. Unstoppable Domains is looking to bring us to a space where that whole idea of QR codes and copy and pasting is no longer necessary. In this case, you can type in one simple human readable name like hashoshi.zil or hashoshi.zil and you could send any cryptocurrency that you want straight to me, straight to whatever address that is necessary with that one human readable name. And right now at this very second, you can go over to Unstoppable Domains website and I will link that down below in the description and you can pick up your very own blockchain based namespace which uses the extension .zil or .zil. Now why it uses .zil is because this platform, this DNS service is built on the Zilliqa blockchain. Zilliqa, for those of you who may not know, is a scalable smart contract enabled blockchain ecosystem that allows people to create widely scalable dApps. And that is most likely why Zilliqa is a great fit for DNS type services that are going to be getting requests left and right. Now Zilliqa, just for transparency's sake, has awarded Unstoppable Domains a grant to build this out as part of their grand plan for the ecosystem, but that does in no way mean that Unstoppable Domains is expecting to only allow you to send Zilliqa tokens and only interact with Zilliqa dApps using their service. They are looking to create a multi-currency ecosystem where you can send Bitcoin, Ethereum, Zilliqa, all sorts of different tokens, all to one single namespace. Now, one thing I have to mention is that I've actually used Unstoppable Domain's Browseth tool, which is an Ethereum developer toolkit with all sorts of awesome tools for us to use to interact with Ethereum applications and the Ethereum blockchain in a web application environment. It's one of the better libraries I've used for interacting with the Ethereum blockchain. And right there, right off the bat, that tells me the pedigree is there. Unstoppable Domains means business, and they do a great job building out services that can be used widely by a lot of people. 
I have personal experience using BrowseF and I really, really like it. So I have confidence that this product, the Unstoppable Domains namespace service is going to be just as good. So how does all this work? Well, at a high level, this works exactly the same way that traditional DNS works for the internet. You can go on Unstoppable Domains website, you can purchase and register your very own .zil or .zil domain namespace for $5 per year, per year, which is extremely cheap. And from there, you can go ahead and add your Bitcoin, Ethereum, Zillica, all these cryptocurrency addresses or DAP address, for example. And from there, the Zillica application that runs this domain name service is going to be able to route traffic appropriately based on what request is coming in. So this is the same sort of idea. In essence, a mapping is kept of all of your different addresses for cryptocurrency to one singular human readable namespace. And then from there, within wallets that integrate with this unstoppable domains application service, it's going to be able to send cryptocurrency using that one singular human readable name and send cryptocurrency to any different variety of wallets that you may have. So if you wanna send Ether, it'll route it to your Ethereum address. If you wanna send Zillica, it'll route to your Zillica address, so on and so forth. And now I think the best part of this though is that it solves one of the most crucial aspects of the DNS service in the internet today. And that is the ability to A, keep your information secure and not public. And beyond that, to prevent different entities, third parties from censoring your content, taking your website down, revoking your privileges. Today, your third party domain provider can at any time revoke access to your domain name. Governments can remove your website altogether. People can be blocked from accessing content, blocked from serving up your content. All sorts of things are outside of your control. And beyond that, your information is associated with that domain in a very public way in a very public space. So anyone can essentially know who you are associated with your domain. Now in the Unstoppable Domains namespace service, that is not going to be the case. When I signed up and I created my own domain, hashoshi.zil, I did not have to enter any of my personal information. There is even a little checkbox that says your identity is protected or protection services are on. That basically means there's no data associated with that domain. It is all private information. And that means also that no one can track your addresses back to your name as well. One of the core tenets of blockchain is cutting out the middleman, giving some more of the power back to you. And by that same hand, Unstoppable Domains does not own your domain. They are not able to control, revoke, or destroy your domain. And beyond that, this application is a decentralized one for a reason. Your information is yours and yours alone. And that is the key. Now, with all this said, I'm extremely excited for this project to officially go live. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what to expect in the coming months. So this summer, probably in June of 2019, Unstoppable Domains is going to go live and the ability for you to send multiple cryptocurrencies through to one single human readable namespace will go live as well. And then later in the year, they will add browser support to access decentralized applications and all sorts of things straight from your browser itself. Beyond that, Unstoppable Domains is bringing its own mobile app for you to manage your domains if you have more than one especially. And that will also be your central command center for all things Unstoppable Domains. Now that being said, right now you can still pre-register up until the end of the month of May for your very own unstoppable domain.zil namespace. And that right there will entitle you to that namespace for a total of two years. So it's basically paying forward for two years of service. So if you do wanna pick up your very own namespace and start using unstoppable domains at go live in the next couple months, you can go over to their website. Again, that's linked in the description and the pinned comment below. You can pay $10, get your very own .zil namespace and start using it very, very soon. I, for one, went ahead and picked up my domain name, hashoshi.zil, and I'm very excited for this to go live so I can start to use it. And beyond that, as a developer, I know for a fact, because I've looked at their GitHub repository, they have a whole entire integration library for different services, both wallets, exchanges, apps, etc., to integrate this name service into their application with ease. And I'm very excited because that means this could actually get adopted. This could be widely used. And I'm very stoked about that. I will post a follow-up video showing you how to get started, how to use your domain, how to set it up, how to configure it, all these sorts of things. 
when it goes live in June or in summer of 2019. So stay tuned for that video. And as always, thank you so much for watching these videos, but stick around and watch another one of my videos, maybe this one or this one right here. I really appreciate you guys. Cheers.